I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been hiding all of my emotions. That's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been hiding all of my emotions. That's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. I've been rolling around, I've been rolling around. That's something I do. Pull up in the drop top, make a top drop. Palm trees on the beach, what do I got? Little money in my pocket and some pie. All right, so we had an opportunity to go out on the trails with the Bronco here because I wanted to get some more bass lines for the Bronco on stock suspension for the time being because the plan is to upgrade it. We're trying to see here where the stock suspension needs to be improved. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get out to the Tillamook Forest, get to thrashing, and oh yeah, be sure to leave a comment down below of uh, what suspension upgrades you think I'm gonna be doing. We are now in the Bronco and uh, we're gonna go do some high speed testing on the trails. As of right now, my opinions are that the suspension is a little soft. It feels like you're blowing through a lot of the travel because you are until you hit the bumps when it stiffens up there. So here is our first trail. We'll go on board first. So we're gonna run Baja, two wheel drive, traction control off. Here we go. not expecting that. It's a legitimately a bucking Bronco. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, like I said right there, I mean, it's pretty soft. There is a little bit of uh, shimmy and shake. I don't know how to describe it in the 4x4 world, but where we were on a dirt bike, I'd say a little bit of head shake and uh, the rear end bounces around, a little bit of bump steer. So uh, that could be, you know, the rebound is not rebounding fast enough or compression dampening, we don't have enough of it, but I think you can go with this. Oh yeah, that's easy. My tire cams. Fancy. Yep. Sick. Good plate.
You might be able to. Or low. Yeah. I'm gonna hit skid hard. You were sliding down. That's pretty steep to go up in. I feel like... It looks fine from here. I got that hitch there. It'll be fine. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna hit skid for sure. That's why you have them. Oh yeah. So. Well, I guess I'll send it. I'm gonna need to run up a little bit. For sure, get a, a repeat of the Raptor. Oh. I just gonna smack that skid plate so hard. Now it's really used. Oh, that's not mud. Oh no. We'll give it one more go in four high. But yeah. Oh. Right about there. Perfect. All right, so uh, now that that's out of my system, we'll go ahead and get some shots externally so that way you guys can see the suspension work. So doing pretty good there. Uh, now we are gonna go ahead and head to one last trail that has a pretty good high speed section. Uh, biggest takeaway from that, that one has a lot of hard G outs and bumps, but they're not necessarily whoops because they're not evenly spaced. And so those unsynchronized hits jostles the back end around. Alright, so we'll do one run here in the car and then one outside. Uh, here we go. Oh, big G out. Brooks, probably shouldn't go over those at 50. part of the trail, it's not a super high speed. I consider it like, you know, over four when they freaking a rock crawling, but not too many rocks here. But we're kind of just bouncing over things.
it all cleaned up here from uh, dirt biking and off-roading. So, a couple of things here. Uh, definitely want better compression dampening uh, for hits like that. Definitely big G outs, big hits in those trails. So compression dampening will help obviously absorb those hits better and instead of the energy being transferred to the frame or the body, the suspension will soak that up. The other thing though, which I feel like is arguably probably more important is uh, rebound dampening. By the time we hit that next bump, G out, whatever, uh, the suspension is not ready. So we get in those tricky situations where the suspension is uh, not cutting it for uh, dampening. It's not ready to take those hits. So then again, we get a little bit of uh, head shake or a uh, bump steer, which in a time aspect, you're losing time and speed on the trail, but also uh, control. So you really have to be on top of your game. I think one more test on the whoops, and uh, that should give us a good basis for uh, when we upgrade to some better suspension. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you stay tuned for Bronco content in general because we did order some parts and, uh, well, let them build again. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. But with all that being said, join the club, and I'll see you in the next one.